What's up, beautiful people? I'm Erin, also known as Erin On Demand, and I am a YouTuber and entrepreneur, and I love vlogging. But I understand that vlogging can be a bit overwhelming. Maybe you don't feel like your life is interesting enough, or you really don't know what to talk about. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my favorite tips on how to make your vlog pop. So let's get into it. Now let's talk about how to actually come up with ideas for your business's vlog. When it comes to vlogging, a lot of people do struggle with wondering what's interesting about themselves. Like, what's interesting about me? What's interesting about my business? Enough for me to feel confident to vlog about it. I even struggled with that too. When I started my channel, I didn't vlog because I was still living at my parents' home. I was building my business in a corner of a room and I just didn't know what would be interesting to me. I was seeing a lot of other entrepreneurs who had cool office spaces and who were, you know, really a lot further in their businesses than I was. And so I felt that there was not really much for me to capture, but I really realized that there weren't a lot of people showing at the stage that I was, and that was all the more reason for me to pick up my camera and show that side of entrepreneurship. And so I really encourage anyone, small business owners, even larger business owners who struggle with feeling like what makes me interesting enough to vlog or just feeling overwhelmed by, you know, maybe if you have a large company, you feel overwhelmed with who to even pick to run your vlog channel. I just want to encourage you that there is always something or someone interesting to document about your company or your business's journey. The golden rule about vlogging is that anything really can be interesting. It's really about how you frame it, how you show and tell it, and the audience that you're really trying to connect to. So the bottom line is it's all about connection. And as long as you have that, you are definitely on the right track. Finding things to vlog about can be easier said than done. So in this lesson, I'm gonna walk you through some tactics and strategies that you can use to start getting your wheels turning on what you can make your companies vlog about. First and foremost, start your brainstorming by thinking about what you want to accomplish with this vlog. So I don't want this to get confused with you setting your intention for a specific vlog video. I want you to think big picture about what you want this vlog to do for your company overall. So do you want this to share behind the scenes and let your audience in on what's going on in the back end of your business? Or do you want this to show the product development process? process? Or do you want this to show the lifestyle that using or having your product can create for your target audience? There's so many different ways that you can take your vlog. So brainstorming the big picture idea of what do you want your overall vlog channel to do is really important when you're planning out the individual vlogs. And don't feel like you have to put yourself in a box of picking one thing. You can do all of these things with your vlogs, but just make sure that you know that going into vlogging, what your company's goals are so you can make sure that your vlogs align. Now, one important thing about this is you wanna see it from your audience's perspective. So when you are choosing what you want your vlog to do for you, you need to keep your audience in mind of what they would want to see. So for example, if you are showing more behind the scenes footage, are you trying to make working at your company seem cool so that you can get more applications in? Or are you trying to get more people to purchase your products? So your vlogs emphasize more of your, you know, behind the scenes of the process of your product. So it's just worth thinking about what is the main goal and what would that audience want to see? Figuring out your big picture and doing this exercise can be really helpful because once you know who you're talking to, it is so much easier to come up with more ideas on what they would be interested in hearing. After you've created your big picture goals, write down every task associated with that. This is really gonna help you think of 
more specific content ideas that you can break into single videos. So doing this is probably gonna open your eyes up to the fact that you are interesting and that you do have a lot of content that you can vlog about. But I want you to keep in mind, whether you are a small business owner or a larger corporation, that you don't have to only show stuff that is super businessy. If you're a small business owner, you can show yourself going to grab a coffee or making one at home. Or if you're a larger company, you can show you and your teammates in the break room, just chatting. It doesn't always have to be so motivated with this, you know, super strong businessy feel. You don't want your vlogs to feel very, very formal. You want them to feel casual and lighthearted. So adding those other elements are really going to help you further build that connection with your audience that we've been really emphasizing throughout this class. So you may have written your list and you're still looking at it like, ugh, there's still not much interesting about it. Maybe you feel like you're so in the routine of doing these tasks that there's just not really a, an exciting approach to it. I say start with a vlog where you are excited about whatever it is that you're gonna be doing that day. Or start with the most exciting approach you may have to your job. Maybe you do it a little bit differently than other people and you can share it from that angle. It's not necessarily about sharing every single thing that you do throughout the day. It's more about being able to craft a story around the things that are interesting. Another thing you can do is share your list with a friend or someone that you're close with who can share with you what they think is interesting about what you do. This is gonna help you really see what your audience may want to know. I know for me, when I started vlogging, I was starting my membership club and I would show myself making the slides for my presentations in my club. And so many people were really into that, which, I thought was boring, but when it's someone who's watching who's maybe never seen that before or doesn't have experience doing that, their fresh eyes are going to think what you're doing is pretty cool. And if you're also thinking that you just kind of do the same things over and over again, another cool thing about vlogging is that reiteration actually builds more connection and trust. So a lot of my audience expects me to wake up in the morning and write my top three priorities for the day down every single day. They know that about me. And when you do things repetitively on your vlogs, it makes your audience feel like they know your routine now and that they've deepened their connection with you. So it's okay if you feel like some things in your vlogs have been repeated. You don't have to reinvent the wheel for every single vlog. Looking back when I started vlogging, I really wanted my audience to know that you don't have to be perfect to get started. And that was really my goal with the vlog, was to show that I was starting from the ground up and I wanted people to see what entrepreneurship looked like from a very, very early stage. Another big goal that I set was to share about my products and services in the vlogs because I knew that the more comfortable they were with me and getting to know me, that that was a really easy way for me to get them comfortable with the products and services that I offered. So based on my big picture goals, some of the tasks that were on my list were showing day in the life videos. I wanted people to know what my day to day routine looked like. I also wanted to show people how I planned for meetings, what I did inside of my meetings, or you know how I created proposals for my clients. These are all things that one would inform them, but also would make them feel comfortable with me, which were both of the goals that I had. Another way you can plan your vlogs is to step out of your day-to-day -day routine and think about some exciting events or activities you have planned for your business. So I know for me, I love doing brand photo shoots and that's when I, you know, go get my makeup done, my hair done, plan my outfits out and I go get 
new professional photos for my website and for my social media. And so when I do those, I love to vlog because it's super exciting. It's not my day-to-day -day wake up, you know, fix breakfast. It's something different. Another tactic is when you think about a vlog idea, just write it down. Even if you aren't vlogging in that day, but you may do something that's interesting or you may talk to someone and then they tell you that they love that you do something or, you know, love something about you, write it down so that way you don't lose that thought and you can incorporate that into a future vlog. And a really encouraging thing is that the more you vlog, the less you have to plan your vlogs because it's gonna start to become second nature to you. You're really gonna learn how to tell the story, how to tie things into your business, how to show your personality and be authentic. So in the beginning, it may feel a little weird, it may be a little bit awkward, but as you practice and as you do it more, it becomes second nature. If you're running your business on the side, my biggest advice is to pace yourself. Do what you can when you can. There is no rush and I promise you, you will get to your goal. Thanks so much for watching. This was just one lesson from my Skillshare class all about vlogging where I'm walking you through my entire vlogging process and giving you my favorite, most useful tips to make your vlog stand out. So if that sounds like your jam, you are welcome to click the link below to join my class now.